API Assistant is a feature of GeneXus Enterprise AI that allows you to define assistance to chat and interact with any external REST API that complies with the OpenAPI 3.0 specification or higher. This assistant leverages artificial intelligence models and function calling capabilities to provide a dynamic way to chat with APIs using natural language. Its key features are as follows. Compatibility with OpenAPI 3.0. It's possible to interact with any API that's built following the OpenAPI 3.0 specification or later. Customizable instructions. The user can provide specific text instructions to guide the AI assistant in making decisions and accurately handling requests. Model settings. It's possible to adjust the AI model settings, such as temperature and the maximum number of tokens generated to enhance and customize the assistant's answers according to the user's needs. Security. Ensures the security of interactions through the use of API tokens. These tokens, which can be of basic or bearer type, are used in the authorization header to authenticate and authorize requests, thus protecting information and data. Automated function calls. It returns answers efficiently by making only the necessary API calls. This is achieved through GeneXus Enterprise AI's intelligent model and automated function calls that handle end user requests. Multiple calls to different APIs. The assistance intelligence is shown by making sequential calls to different APIs to obtain complex results. For example, upon receiving a question such as, what's the weather like in Tokyo and Montevideo? The assistant identifies the need to query the weather API for each city mentioned. This ability to automatically handle multiple requests ensures a seamless experience for the user who doesn't need to be involved in the process. All right, before we start using this type of assistant, it's important to make sure that certain prerequisites are met. If the API you want to interact with is authenticated with an API token, either basic or bearer, you need to configure the request to include this token in the authorization header, specifying the correct type. In this way, when the call is executed, the token will be used for the interaction. You should also verify that the API specification is documented according to OpenAPI 3.0 or higher in JSON format. This is important because APIs that do not comply with the specification may not be fully supported. Now, let's see an example. The first thing to do is to obtain the OpenAPI 3.0 specifications for the API we want to interact with, which in our case will be the Weather API. We go to the GeneXus Enterprise AI back office, select a project we're going to work on, and in the menu, we select Assistance. Create API Assistant. We're asked for a description for the API. Although this is optional, it's useful for the assistant to understand the purpose and functionality of the API we want to interact with. We can include any instructions that we consider relevant to guide the assistant effectively. For example, for the Weather API, it may be something like the following. The next step is to complete the OpenAPI JSON file with the OpenAPI 3.0 specification or higher. This is where the technical details of the API should be specified, including paths, HTTP methods, query parameters, request and response bodies, among others. This file acts as a detailed API specification, allowing for accurate and consistent interaction with the assistant. The Validate API option performs a basic check of the JSON to verify if it's correctly formed and if it has any services defined. It also checks if the service URL is correctly defined. It's worth mentioning that this verification does not run a test against the API. The next step is to set up authentication. 
In this step, it's possible to define whether the API requires authentication and, if so, what type of authentication will be used. Genexus Enterprise AI supports authentication based on API keys, which can be basic or bearer. If the API does not require authentication, the None option must be selected. Otherwise, the API key value must be set. This unique key provides exclusive access to the API. In addition, the type of authentication must be specified, selecting between the basic or bearer values. The next step is to customize the settings related to the language model to adapt it to specific needs and obtain optimal performance. Provider determines that the language model provider is OpenAPI. Model, the specific language model to be used, must be selected. You can choose from a variety of options, from GPT 3.5 to GPT 4, which have their own unique features and capabilities. Temperature. Adjust the temperature of the model to control creativity and diversity in the responses generated. Lower values produce more conservative answers, and higher values encourage creativity. The default value is 0 0.10. Max token output defines the maximum number of tokens allowed in each response. This setting determines the maximum length of the responses generated by the language model. The default value is 1024. It's important to note that these settings are optional and can be left with their default values. We click on Save. This opens a window to enter the name and description of the API. We can also add a file for the icon. Once all this information has been completed, we click on Confirm. We see the assistant created, and if we click on Update, we can see the version identifier with which it was saved. We can change the name and description, set it as enabled or disabled, and add an icon if we want. If Edit is selected instead, it's possible to manage and maintain different versions. We can overwrite the existing version or create a new version with the changes made. To do this, we select Save as a new revision. In this way, we can control and organize the modifications as needed. From here, we can see all the versions of the Assistant. Finally, we test the new Assistant from the Playground option of the menu. We check, for example, the current weather conditions in Venice. And we want to compare the current weather conditions in Montevideo and Buenos Aires.